As a final thought, there's a report out today that shows that Government Motors, otherwise known as GM, has now doubled the percentage of its cars that it's selling to subprime borrowers, meaning it is allowing people to finance the purchase of an automobile with very little down who have very low FICO scores. In other words, subprime lending. GM is selling cars to people who probably can't afford them and in all likelihood will end up defaulting on their auto loans. Now, why is GM doing this? Well, they're doing it because in the short run, they get to book the earnings associated with these sales, even if in the long run, the sales are going to result in losses when their customers mail in their pink slips instead of their car payments. And now GM has to deal with the losses that they will incur as a result of the repossession and having to resell into a depressed market. But GM doesn't care if its actions today ultimately result in losses in the future, because after all, they're too big to fail. We know that. If they lose a fortune, the taxpayers are going to have to bail them out. In the meantime, the unionized workforce can make money, the executives can get their bonuses, and in the end, when the economy turns south and GM posts huge losses once again, well, the U.S. taxpayer is once again on the hook. This is a repeat of the mortgage market. It's the same mistakes that were made, again, with government encouragement, where people who couldn't afford to repay their mortgages were nevertheless sold houses uh, with little or no down payments. They had low FICO scores, no you know, ninja loans, no jobs, no assets, you know, teaser rates. Well, General Motors is doing the same thing. So this whole thing is a sham. The whole idea that the GM bailout is a success story based on the fact that they have earnings now. Well, would they really have these earnings if they were more judicious with respect to who they loaned money to and who they sold cars to? I mean, how many people are buying cars uh, simply because they can get cheap financing right now and for some reason uh, they're being approved? You know, who knows? I mean, you, a lot of times these pe people are bringing their car to GM and they have negative equity in their existing car and they're able to use that and transfer the negative equity into their new car purchase, get a five or six year car loan at an artificially low interest rate. And yeah, maybe they can swing the payments for a while. Maybe they can't. But again, who cares? Uh, because ultimately they can mail in the pink slip and not the check. And this is the moral hazard, but it's because the government is involved. The government has propped up this company and is incentivizing them to pad the numbers in the short run to make President Obama look good. Uh, meanwhile, who gets hold in the bag? And look at the price of GM stock. I mean, as an indication, it's almost been cut in half since the U.S. government spun off part of its shares to the public. Of course, the U.S. government still owns a big chunk of government motors, and I'm sure they're pulling the strings behind the curtain. But what's going to happen to the price in the future? Where would GM stock be right now if they weren't padding their earnings by selling cars to people who are probably not going to actually pay for them? This is vendor financing at its worst, thanks to the U.S. government.